You see the fastball from 86 to 89 with some good sink, a slider, and a changeup. Eddie Park pounds his chest as he looks towards the dugout, starts the game with a single. Oh, it's going to be a fun night tonight. In this last game of the regional. Well hit out into left field, going back at the wall. Into the trees, Tim Tala. A two-run towering shot, and Stanford making a statement of 2-1 here in the first. 2-0, excuse me. And we've seen it so much from Tawa already this regional. He just loves to get extended. This is a fastball away. We see the great load, the little leg kick, and he just explodes through that baseball. That's another big bomb coming off the bat of Tim Tawa. Nobody out yet. We tap it to the left side. It's going to be a tough play for Frias, and he won't even make the throw. Brock Jones with an infield single, and Stanford has started this game with back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back hits. Huff hammers this one into left field. Jones round second. He's going to third. He gets in there easily. And Cody Huff has a stand-up double. And X, there's still nobody out. The 12th pitch of the at-bat. Robinson chased one upstairs, fly ball out to right. Tagging from third is Jones, and he's going to score easily. And Stanford takes a 3-0 lead, and that's just the first out here in this first inning. Nick Bruiser flies that one out to center. Tagging at third is Cody Huff. And he's going to score easily. 4 nothing. Stanford on top here in this first inning. That's a nice job for the sack fly. To Bowser, to second base. Torres tries to backhand it. <laughs> Troy chops that one to third. Tough play for McGuire on the run. Can't make it. Throws it away. Castro can't squeeze. And Stanford has runners at second and third with two outs. Two on, two out. Puts down a bunt. Tough play for Ingebrigtsen. Wow, Crampton with a little surprise bunt gets on. Started this game off with a single. Rips that up the middle and it gets through. Bowser's going to score. Troy's coming in. He'll score. And Stanford up six to nothing in this elimination game. Winner take all. Yeah, and Eddie Park here does a great job of just staying up the middle, not trying to do too much. Leadoff hitter who's already had two hits in the first inning gets himself a big two out, two RBI hit right there. Stanford just continuing to tack it on early against the Ant Eaters. Tim Tower in his first at bat, a towering two run home run goes the other way, and that gets through the second first base hole. Crampton will come in to score. It's now seven to nothing. Wow. And John, we so often talk about, especially in today's day and age, the launch angle, right? But besides Tawa's home run earlier in the inning, it's been a lot of ground ball hits, line drive hits. And these guys are taking advantage. Here's the 2-2. Grounded to the right side. Torres, and that is the final out of this top of the first. Lifts that one out to left field. Park goes back at the wall. It's out of here. Nathan Church. That ball just kept carrying. And the Ant Eaters 
respond with their first batter up at the plate, Nathan Church. It's now 7-1. to one. And if you want to make a statement and be able to come back in this game, it starts with your leadoff hitter. He gets a pitch up in the zone and takes care of business with the oppo biscuit. Look at the load. The stride is perfect. The swing is compact. That ball just fine. Allowed them to get back into the dugout and swing the bats. That hit him. He looks like. Robinson grounds out to the right side. That could be two, but it is bobbled by Torres. And he won't even get one. Everybody's safe. And Drew Bowser walks on four straight pitches. But this stuff for free now. <laughs> Tommy Troy lifts one out to left field in the sun. Spillane makes the catch. Tagging from third is Cody Huff. He will score. Stanford now takes an 8-1 to one lead. Here's the shortstop, Adam Crampton. Chopper up the middle. Nakawake. And there's the third out here in the top of the second, but Stanford picks up another run early on. I think the rest and recovery is obviously report. Another well hit ball to left. And Dylan Tatum now has the single season home run record at UC Irvine. His 15th home run of the season. And the Ant Eaters are clawing their way back in this game. It's now eight to three. Well, John, we still have a lot of game left. Obviously, only still the bottom of the second inning. But check this swing out again. He gets loaded, and he gets unloaded on this pitch. He did. He gives us a little bat flip. John, where did that ball even go? Because I lost track. That thing was blasted. Whoa. No way. Wow, that from home. That thing looked like it was going over the trees, but Robinson squeezes it in right field. Smiles as he walks back in. Ball yet? I don't know. You are missing out. It is one of the fastest growing sports in the country. Eddie Park starts off this third inning with a single up the middle. 2-0 pitch. Just missed it. Flies it up to center. Peabody. No. Oh, whoa, it drops. Eddie Park, round second. He's going to third. A little confusion in the outfield between Mike Peabody, the center fielder, and Nathan Church, the right. Well hit by Brock Jones in the right field. You see Church throw his hands up, calling that one. Tagging and scoring is Eddie Park. Stanford is up 9-3. to three. Cleanup hitter, Cody Huff. Runner goes, throw down, not in time. Oh, he's out. He thought the ball went to the outfield and stepped off the bag. <laughs> I mean, it's, ooh. Did that get him as well? I think it nicked the jersey. I'm gonna beat something into the ground. There's the ground ball looking for over Bowser's head. Cramped in. He's got Spillane in a rundown. He'll make the tag. But scoring on the play was Connor McGuire. Here's the 2-2. Big hook, swing and a miss. Throw down the first. And Joey Dixon gets the strikeout. Some of the kids getting a little aggressive with the foul ball action. I like it. Tim Tawa, a blooper into center, and that one's going to drop. There you go. Ground ball by Cody Huff. Back 
backhanded nicely by the third baseman, McGuire. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Hard hit back up the box. That one gets through. Tawa rounding third. They're sending him. No throw. And Stanford is up 10-4 to four here in the top of the sixth. Just another great swing by these Stanford hitters. Staying short, staying up the middle, not trying to do too much. No, they, these guys know what they're doing with runners in scoring position. It's almost like they cut down their swing. 0-2-2 two, two automatic as well. Not going. Bruiser lifts that one out to center field. And Peabody makes the catch. Rips that one down the line. It's a fair ball. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. How about Connor McGuire with his team down big? Steps up in the field now here at the plate in the bottom of the sixth. In church. Fastball line the other way. Can't make the play in left. Park, it goes off his glove. McGuire will come in to score. And UC Irvine picks up a run here in the sixth. It's now 10 to five. John, this is a sweet swing, first of all, but this ball is slicing away from Park. This is a tough play for the left fielder to make. He goes in and dies, almost has it in his glove. Two strikes. Oh, what a pitch. Quinn Matthews in a big spot. Grounder, tough play in the hole. Hey, Dean, throws. You are not going to get the speedy Bowser. Park sends one out to deep left field. Going back and making the catch on the track is Spillane. That means Bowser can score easily. And it's now 11-5, Stanford on top. Well, job. Short and drive something. Ball four to Dylan Tatum. Closer. And McGuire taking all the way. The 2-2. Two -two. Grounded to the right side. And it gets by the first baseman, Bruiser. Fair ball. One comes in, here comes two. And Spillane is safe at second. Luke Spillane is just built for the big stage. In moments like this, he keeps delivering with two outs and a two RBI double. It's now 11 to four, 11 to seven Stanford. Spillane does a great job of staying inside the baseball here. It squeaks this ball down the first baseline. Look at this. This is a two-seamer running in. Just gets enough barrel on it to get it down past first baseline. And even gets himself into scoring position. That's also great base running by Spillane. Got him swinging. Gretsch pumps his fist. Weak. Weiner up the middle. Ground ball can't be made. Tawa. And Jake Palmer will walk on four straight pitches. Lined up the middle. That one is through. Spillane. They're waving him in. He will score. It's now 11 to 8 Stanford. And Xavier, you know what that means. Tying run comes to the plate. Polish comes to a set. The 2-2. Two -two. Lifted up in the air. This could be it. Jones makes the catch. After a four-hour slugfest, Stanford, the best team in California, moves on to the Super Regionals.